Hi, I'm Ricky Muir, a former Senator for the State of Victoria, Australia. Among other things, I am a passionate outdoor enthusiast and it was as a matter of fact my love of the great outdoors and the outdoor recreational lifestyle which drew my attention to the Australian Motoring Enthusiast Party before being elected to represent them in 2013. In this video, I have teamed up with a previous staff member who claims he has a face for radio so I avoided the camera and travelled up McAvoy's track, better known in modern times as Springs Road in the Gippsland region of the Victorian high country to repair some damage to a sign at a historic site. The day before we filmed this footage, the West Gippsland Relic Mining and Heritage Protection Incorporated put up a post via social media requesting that if anybody was in the area if they could repair the damage. As it was only a short distance for me to travel from home, and a darn good reason to get into the bush, I was all too happy to arrange a few tools, camera, and camera shy partner in crime, and to assist. Upon arrival, after soaking up the serenity, which is the Victorian high country, we assessed the damage to the sign. The sign had been damaged and repaired in the past. This time round, I could see no real indication of any deliberate vandalism. I suspect that either strong winds or an accidental bump had bent the pole enough to cause fatigue in the star picket which was holding it up, so that when I went to straighten it out, it snapped off completely. No problems with another star picket, a drill and a splitting axe, the repairs are straightforward and a great way to spend an afternoon. It is at this stage that I would like to point out that these historic markers, the research behind them and the maintenance to keep them well presented and preserved are not government funded. Once there was some money provided through government grants to assist, but now all the work is completed by and paid for by volunteers who are part of outdoor recreational based clubs, associations, organisations or simply passionate individuals. There is so much hard work and effort which is performed by such people which is largely unnoticed by those who do not venture out and enjoy our parks and forest so therefore they do not get to see it. Those who oppose the outdoor recreational lifestyle will use any photograph or footage that they can find to suit their agenda. They twist it, sensationalise it and com complement it with highly emotive stories before pushing it hard through the mainstream media social media and any other means that they feel appropriate. As outdoor enthusiasts, there is something that we can do, and it is to simply tell the truth. When someone tries to paint our lifestyle in a negative light, politely and respectfully educate them. When someone is trying to claim that all people who enjoy the bush cause damage, show your videos and photos of the positive things that you do. Tell your story and prove them wrong. It is well and truly time that all outdoor enthusiasts, their representative bodies, clubs and associations stand up and unite to ensure that we, the people who do the right thing and respect and enjoy the outdoors, have our voices heard.